Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest gruesome and grotesque video. As always, I just do these videos randomly when I come across something that I read either on my Google News app or something else online that I feel merits posting here within this playlist. Such was the case with this story that I read the other day. I had to do a double take when I saw the original headline because it made me realize this is something almost out of the world of Silent Hill. In fact, when I was reading this information and as more information slowly creeped out over the next coming days, it still baffles me how two people could essentially do this, as you're going to see here in just a moment. Now, I'm going to have to be real careful on the details just because the story in of itself may be too gruesome for uh, anything related to YouTube. So you may see some weird terms and so on. So stuff that I'm basically dancing around to ensure that I don't have any trouble from YouTube. But it has to do with this. It's about the young Indian couple who basically decapitated themselves with a makeshift guillotine. This information still creeps me out even after these couple of days. So let's go ahead and let's share this information here. And then those of you who Maybe there's a chance that are local to this specific area. Let me know if you have any more details associated with this very gruesome act. So here's essentially what happened. Um, you have to go actually to maybe about two or so weeks ago, maybe even less. And I think the timeline associated with this was around Saturday, April 15th, if I'm not mistaken, because the children, if you can believe this, actually found their bodies on Sunday, the 16th. But here's what happened. There is a village there in India, a very small village called the Vinchia village of Vinchia Taluka, which you're looking at a picture of here. And it was inside this village that eventually both the children and then also police and now authorities are still trying to figure out what happened because it involved a man, a farmer, 38 years old by the name of Himuhai Makwana, and then his 35-year-old wife, a lady by the name of Hansaban Makwana, and they were found within their homes, uh, essentially beheaded. They, have, they had created a makeshift guillotine, and they had used this guillotine. I believe there were two of them, actually. In other words, they had placed their heads right there on the guillotine itself, and then at the same time, they had released a mechanism that had allowed the guillotine to do its work. It severed their heads right then and there, where things don't get gruesome. And again, what made me think this is straight out of the world of Silent Hill was this. These guillotines and the blades and the angle that their bodies were placed and then the stuff associated with where that head landed, essentially, it was all done in a manner to ensure that the heads themselves fell into a specific spot. In fact, there was a police spokesperson who said it best. They said, it is believed that they pulled up the blades of the guillotine themselves and then released it in such a manner that their heads fell into a havand kund. And the article then stated that a havand kund is a type of pit that's used in fire rituals. And in this manner, the head itself was right there, fell in that perfect spot, and then it was essentially done as an offering to the gods that they were, I guess, trying to appease or do something along those lines. And then also there's more information associated with the temple that they created there. Apparently their Havan Kun contained the picture of the Lord Shiva, and then also something called a Shivling, which is apparently an idol dedicated to Shiva themselves. So they did this in a manner where it was planned and executed in the manner that they wanted 100% for it to happen. And they wouldn't have had the body fall somewhere else or the head fall somewhere else. They specifically did it where it went. They did their act and then the heads itself fell right in front of their god or whatever they were offering to their god in that specific spot known as the Havan Kun. You can't 
make this stuff up. Like this is true. This is why I had to do a double take when I was looking at this information because it's so precise. And the fact that they found like they were they did whatever they were trying to do, they did it perfectly. And this essentially makes it so mysterious because nobody knows exactly why there was nothing really associated with um, any indication that they were going to do this sacrifice because that's what in turn it seems like it's all 100 percent it was them sacrificing themselves for whatever belief they had and there was nothing else associated with um, any other reasons in fact the police themselves have tried to find and they were trying to still locate more information as to what what occurred on there they've talking to family members they're talking to some of the other neighbors as well. They're even looking through mobile phones and then trying to see if any of the other people there um, have any indication. But the police have stated, no, they didn't have any financial problems, nor were they having any financial disputes or family disputes as well. In fact, there was a note left by the husband. This was a note that was actually not signed by them, but there were thumbprints from each of them indicating again that it is from them specifically. And it was written in a way where it was clearly stating their intentions. And their end, it would, they were stating that everything was okay and that they actually trusted both their brothers and their in-laws and they never had anything as far as anybody reprimanding them for anything specifically. So again, everything seems to point that everything was okay. Just somewhere though, behind the scenes, this young couple was essentially creating this guillotines. They had all this time in the world to create the guillotines and at the same time stop whatever they were doing up until that final fateful moment when they finally just decided to kick that machine. Whatever they did, they pulled a lever or something else and then when that occurred, that's when the guillotines um, did their act. And then when that finalized, then, then the, the couples were dead and then their heads fell into that specific makeshift temple. And then now they were sacrificed. They had sacrificed themselves for their God. The, the um, police stated it afterwards that we have recording statements of the family members and trying to know the reason behind this couple's extreme step. And then they ended up by saying, we will get a clear picture once we record statements of all the family members. But for me, what also took it to a whole other level was again, the children. The children were away. Apparently they were visiting with their uncle at that time. But when they came on that Sunday, both the son, age 13, and the daughter, age 12, on that Sunday morning, they returned home. And then that's when they discovered this. This was truly, absolutely just very gruesome stuff. For them to see something like this, and then obviously the rest of the town knowing about it afterwards, and again, nobody having any answers as to why they did this, other than the handwritten note, along with that thumb impression, again, stating so that they killed themselves willingly, and that no one is to blame. It's, it's, it's going to be something that everyone will still try to find answers to sometime later on. This also reminded me of that movie that came out um, a couple of years back, and it had to do with that same notion. I haven't seen the movie myself, but it's called Hereditary. I think that's the one that I was warning people not to see because it deals with some names associated with some demigods, the stuff that's kind of real that um, if you talk about it or if you practice that stuff, then you will have something bad happen to you. So I haven't seen that movie, but I have heard about it. And apparently there's also some scenes there of people willingly sacrificing themselves towards some god. And when that happens, uh, there was also some uh, decapitations that occurred within the film, too. So that also reminded me of it as well. But very gruesome story. The idea that this young couple would do something like this willingly up until the last second, having every chance in the world to stop themselves. And then they did so. And then their children would find them. And then the way they again arranged their bodies so that the heads fell within a perfect spot. And then that way that was their sacrificial, they were, they were almost like their own sacrificial lamb for their God itself, whatever ritual it was. It's just, again, a double take that I had to share here 
for this channel. By the way, there's also the idea that black magic is not being rolled out just yet. But again, no indication that the couple themselves were involved in anything along those lines. In fact, looking at some of the pictures that you've seen, they look just like any other ordinary couple. Like in this case, from their part of the world, nothing that would stand out, nothing that would make it seem like they were out there to create this gruesome act. But as it turns out, they ended up doing so. And now everyone is talking about it, at least through the Google News app, the ones that I was seeing the articles on. And as more information comes out, I'll definitely try to share it here if there's an update associated with more reasons to them. But whatever they had, they basically took it with them after their own gruesome act. But if anybody has any more info, anything else I might have missed, then please let me know. Um, I'll definitely um, love it if you have anybody from the local level, more information on this. Uh, that'd be great to share. All right, everybody. Thanks again, as always. Take care. Bye.